What's up guys? My name is Eduardo Lara. I'm the owner of Elegant Custom Painting Incorporated. Uh, this is actually the first video that I'm going to be making for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint sliding doors step by step. I'm going to be uh, also showing you uh, guys the process I used, uh, materials and tools I also used for this project. Uh, if you like my videos, please um, keep watching. That I'm going to be constantly uploading tons of new uh, uh, videos for you guys that I know is going to be really helpful. Uh, also, if you guys have any questions about the tools or materials I used, please don't forget to write it down in the comments down below. Uh, I'm going to be doing the best of my knowledge to uh, help you guys in any way I can, okay? Uh, also, uh, para los que no hablan inglés, si tienen alguna pregunta sobre el material o la herramienta que uso, por favor, uh, no olviden de escribirla abajo y yo voy a tratar de responderles de la mejor manera posible y voy a tratar de ayudarles lo mejor que pueda, okay? Uh, so now let's get to the video and hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so the first thing you have to do before you even start priming all those sliding doors, you need to start masking all the glass off. Uh, you also need to start uh, putting uh, blue tape on all the hardware such as door handles and hinges. This is what my guys uh, were doing. You also need to open up those doors and just double check it. You're not missing any hardware. Otherwise, when, you, when you're painting, you're going to get a bunch of overspray all over the place. So you need to be careful. Uh, and this is the blue tape that we were using for these doors, uh, which is a uh, scotch blue tape. Uh, you can leave it up to uh, 14 days, um, but I wouldn't recommend it because of the glue residue. The next thing you have to do is start putting plastic up, and that's going to help you uh, prevent any overspraying going throughout the place. Uh, this is a plastic that we usually use, which is a husky painted plastic. This is a size 12 feet by 400 feet. Uh, and we like to use this type of uh, zip balls. Those are gonna come really handy if you guys do a lot of masking. Uh, this is a picture. Uh, they're really, really nice and it's gonna have save you tons of time. Okay, in here, so we finished masking the area that we were supposed to be spraying. Uh, so once you start uh, getting ready for the primer, this is the following step that you have to do, which is getting the sprayer ready. And this, um, case we use ammonia we're basically using uh, alcohol based primer from Ben uh, and in there's a trick with this so for example if you're running out of uh, uh, alcohol you, you need to run alcohol through the line before you can even use this primer but if you don't have any alcohol what you have to do is all you gotta do just put half ammonia in half water and that's gonna work just fine it's gonna work just like alcohol based and it's much cheaper you can get it at Home Depot for like two dollars and something uh, okay, so once you got the going, the following thing you have to do, obviously, is to start priming. Uh, this is me, by the way. So every time I start spraying doors, this is like uh, the way I like to spray them, which is I start uh, in the middle of the door. I like to spray the edges first. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the tip that I, I like to use all the time, which is a super fine tip, 308, and this is the type of housing. So you have to be careful also with the housings because it all depends the color of the tip. That's the color of the housing you need to use. I'm going to give you another tip uh, about those uh, tips and housings. Uh, for example, if you're using a green tip, it doesn't matter the size. You need to use a blue housing. Otherwise, it will not fit. It all depends. Like I said, it all depends on the color of the tip. That's the uh, color of this housing that you need to use. For example, if you use a 308 tip, which is the one I'm using, uh, so the three, the first number, in, which is a three, you just double the fan, so which is that's gonna be a six inch fan. Uh, and oh eight, it means just just the size of the orifice. So it just uh, it all depends. Uh, that's a really fine tip. That's what I like to use that tip on pretty much basically everything, which is kitchen cabinets, all trim, and everything else in there, because uh, it, it gives you like a really really nice finished. Uh, okay. So let's just keep moving forward. Uh, in this case, if you notice, I'm almost done uh, priming all this uh, trim. So after you start, I um, mean, finish priming all the trim, what you need to start doing, you need to let it dry. Usually, alcohol-based primer, you can leave it, uh, let it dry for up to like three, four hours, and it should be completely dry for you to start sanding it and prepping it. Uh, so this is the next step that we need to do, which is the prepping. Uh, in here, one of my guys is uh, started sanding. If you notice, that one corner it has some um, 
a wood filler on it. So this is the wood filler that we like to use, which is the Elmer's wood filler. Uh, I really like this wood filler because it seems really, really easy. It doesn't shrink and it's, you know, it's it's just amazing. Also, if you notice, he's using some type of sanding sponges, which is this one's. This is the one that we like to use, which is the fine sanding sponges. You're going to love those sponges when you start using those. Um, so uh, that's the next thing that we have to do. Obviously, just start doing all the prepping using the wood filler. Once the wood filler is completely dry, which is usually dries within 10 minutes, you can start using the sanding sponge, which we use the sanding sponges on all the wood. Uh, and we use this, this type of sandpaper, which is a 320 sandpaper. This, that's what we use to sand um, all the wood filler. So uh, my guys is going to start sanding the wood filler with the 320 sandpaper, which if you notice, it sands super easy. It doesn't really take that much time to sand it. Uh, once you do that, all you got to do it's you need to uh, spot prime it with an oil based uh, primer which is this is the one we use uh, which is the cover stain that's an oil based primer it dries within 10-15 minutes once you finish spot priming on the wood filler the next thing you have to do obviously just lightly sand those patches dust them off for back use in the vacuum and then start um, caulking everything in here this is what my guy started doing uh, they started doing all the caulking, which is, this is the caulking that we like to use, uh, which is the Alex Plus. Uh, there's also the Alex Plus, which is a drying caulking, with, it dries within 25 minutes, I believe. Uh, but you can use any type of caulking, to be honest. I mean, any caulking would just still work the same. Another trick that you need to do and you must do is always carry a wet rag with you. And that is because when you start caulking all those corners, uh, you... Uh, need to wipe them off if you notice he's also using the finger and then you have to use the rag otherwise uh, if you don't wipe it off completely or correctly what's going to happen is the caulking is going to try uh, start drying off on you and you need to use a drag to start wiping the excess off uh, so once the caulking is completely dry now you're going to be ready to start uh, spraying finish coats uh, which is this is what i'm doing right now uh, like always, I like to start uh, spraying all the edges first. Uh, and once I do all the edges, then I like to go back and start spraying the face. That's going to give you like a really nice and consistent uh, spray. You won't be able to miss any spots. Oh, and by the way, this is a paint that I really like and I love to use, which is the Advanced uh, Satin Finish from Benjamin Moore. This paint works really, really well. Uh, you can do uh, multiple coats in one day uh, if you need to. Once the final coat is completely finished, this is what the uh, final doors look like. Uh, of course, uh, you might not be able to see the doors really well, and that is because my guys started spraying. Also, the exterior, so they had to drop some plastic off on those uh, sliding doors to prevent any overspray. So this is what the doors used to look like before. Uh, obviously, there was no primer on them, and this is what uh, they look like now, which is, you know, we ended up spraying uh, four coats of finished okay guys um this is it for now i hope you guys enjoy uh, my painting tutorial uh, also don't forget to subscribe and also write your comments uh, down below please and i'm gonna try to do my best to help you guys in any way i can okay i'll see you guys in the next video